Alright, hello and welcome to the What's in My Hospital Bag video. Um, I apologize for this. My hair was just bothering me and I just threw it up so I don't even know what it looks like. And also, pregnancy problems. I'm breaking out. So, um, that's just life of a pregnant woman. So I'm going to jump right in with the closest thing to me, which is my super mega awesome water bottle. Um, I got this from Marshalls for probably seven bucks, which seems like a lot actually now that I'm thinking about it from Marshalls. But, um, 58 ounces fits in this. I am so excited about this water bottle. I use it every day. I love it. I just love it, love it, love it, love it. But, you know, this top thing comes off, just whatever you drink it. It is amazing. And I'm trying to not be hooked up to an um, IV fluid uh, drip the whole time. Um, so I want to do a lot of the hydrating on my own. And I think that this handy dandy super mega giant <laughs> big gulp will help me out. And hopefully I can get this ghetto tag off because he's ghetto. But whatever. If not, who cares? It gets the job done and I love it. So that's number one. Number two is my actual bag, which is oh, this lovely sparkly thing from Victoria's Secret, given to me as a hand-me-down from my lovely little sister. And what is in here is magical. Not really, there's not anything too fancy in here. And honestly, it could probably use some help. But what I got in here so far is the following. I have my paperwork. This is my hospital. Now you guys all know where I'm gonna give birth. No, you don't, because there's a million scripts. But this inside of here has everything I need. Um, this is, I'm not gonna bring all this, but basically I'm just gonna bring this envelope with my pre-admission uh, paperwork because I never mailed it in and honestly, I'm gonna give birth at any time now, so why would I mail it in right now? Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have this in there, and um, so I don't have to fill out the paperwork while I'm laboring because that just doesn't sound too fun to me. Um, another thing I have right off the bat is a sorry, I'm like really itchy under here. I think there's like a dog hair in my nose. Um, phone charger. Um, I also have one that is um, I don't know how many feet it is, but it's a really long extension cord and I've heard, or not extension cord, a really long phone charger um, cable. So um, I've heard that bring an extension cord, but like, um, no, I'm not doing that. So I'll have this and I'll have a really long phone charger. And if, anyways, I had a moment of a brain fart. I had a brain fart. So I'll have this so I can be on my phone. I will also will have my laptop and my charger, which obviously are not in my bag right now because I am currently using them. Um, another thing that I have in here are my handy dandy fuzzy socks. These are something I'm super excited about because I just love socks, especially the fuzzy ones. So these are from Target. They're like $3 each. Um, but I'm super excited about these because they're so soft and I don't really care about them. I mean, obviously you can tell I'm obsessed with them, but um, oh my gosh, my nose is so itchy. Ooh, um, I don't care if they get ruined at the hospital is basically what I'm trying to say. So I won't be sad if something happened to them, but I will be super excited to wear them. Those are my socks. My nose, I, I have two dogs and I, they're like, they're, I have a husky and a lab hound and they shed so much. Okay. Anyways, another thing I have are my comfy Target shorts. These are about $10 on sale. They're probably like originally like 15 or 13 or something. But I love these. These will be a last minute item that I throw in because I wear them all the time. I just love them. They're so comfy. I hate pants for the most part, especially for like laying down. So these are awesome. Um, love these. They're loose. They're not going to be tight or anything. Um, another thing is I purchased a gowny, which is like a delivery gown. Some people are like, why? What a waste of money. Bleh. But um, I did it because I want to feel pretty, which might sound vain. All right, sorry, I had to go eat a cookie. Um, because 
I really wanted one. So finishing up, I think that I was previously talking about this amazing nursing bra. It's from Target. It's amazing. It's not too tight. It's like just not. It's just amazing. All you do is pop, pop it out, breastfeed. So this is what I'll be using in the hospital. And another thing I have in here um, are my favorite pajamas, which I will not be bringing because uh, I'm not going to ruin these. These are my favorite. I love them. Nick and Nora from Target. They are so soft. I love them. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Do -do 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 -do. I will be bringing this toiletry bag. And it's awesome and easy because it just hangs up. So what's in here, you might ask? Of course you're asking. It is some toothbrushes and toothpaste. They are not our own. They are travel toothbrushes so that if we leave them on accident, we will not be so sad. So those, uh, one is mine and one is Nick's. Another thing I have in my lovely thing are makeup remover wipes. Um, if I even wear makeup, I am bringing a makeup bag. I'll show you that in a second, but who knows? But makeup remover wipes because usually when I put on makeup, the first thing I want to do is take it all off. So I also will be bringing some cotton swabs, some Q-tips um, because I love them. Another thing is just um, some hair ties are in here. I have my Burt's Bees, which I will use right now because Burt's Bees is the best, the best. Expensive, worth it, love it, live it, love it. Burt's Bees is my life. Um, I also got prat, um, pads, even though I know they're going to give them to me in the hospital. Um, so honestly, I don't know why, but I think these are just going to be there for when I hang this thing back up in my um, bathroom later. So obviously, I know I'm not going to use those, but... They're in there. They fill in space, basically. Another thing that I'm bringing in here is some Honest Company Organic Nipple Balm. Um, because I'm sure I will need this immediately. I am a first time mom. I've never breastfed yet. Um, I've just heard some horror stories and also some not horror stories. So we will see. It's never even been open. Let's see what it smells like. It like almost smells like something familiar, but like it doesn't smell like anything at the same time. Okay, so that I also have a mini Vaseline. Um, don't really know why I have that, but I love Vaseline. Also, I got this for Christmas. It's facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. So I feel like it's just like a refreshing thing. Um, maybe I don't. You know, let's smell it. It smells like my grandma. Not not even like really my grandma, just it smells like a grandma. But I don't hate it. So I'm bringing it. Also, I'll be bringing a little spray bottle of water with um, lavender uh, essential oils. And it's just so calming. You just put a couple drops of the lavender in and then you fill the rest up with water. And it's um, you just spray it and it's just so calming. So every time I'm freaking out, it can just be like poof, spraying me like a cat or something. Um, also, I'm bringing a travel shampoo and conditioner. Um, nothing specific about this brand, but I, I just, it was in the travel aisle at Target. So that, and I'll be bringing a men's deodorant because I like men's deodorant better than women's. And also, last but not least, hand sanitizer. I'll be bringing some hand sanitizer. And I'm sure if I forgot anything, um, the hospital will give it to me. I'm also expecting to get a lot of stuff from the hospital because that's just what I've heard. So that's what I'll be bringing and I'll let you guys know what I wish I brought and what I wish I did bring after I give birth, which hopefully will be soon because I am ready for this baby. I can't close this. All right, so I'm pretty sure that that is all for my hospital bag besides um, some underwear and stuff like postpartum underwear, which are, I can't even show you them because they're so awful. I got ones that are high enough where if I had a C-section, they wouldn't be rubbing. So they go like right below my belly button and they're so, so awful. Like I, like, I don't even think a grandma would 
touch these things. Um, but whatever, I don't want them. Um, or I don't, sorry, I don't care about them. So who cares if they get all gross from delivering a baby? Okay, sorry, my memory card holds about five minutes of video and then it turns off. So um, obviously I need to get another one. So anyways, I'll be using one of these foundations if I wear makeup. Um, this MAC setting powder, I don't really need to show you guys what's in here, just whatever, just my stuff. Take a look. If you want to see what's in it, of course, ask me. I'll let you know. Um, but that's just my makeup bag that I will be bringing. Next, we are on to my baby's bag for the hospital. This is a Skip Hop, Skip Hope, Skip Hop, is that what this is called? Skip Hop bag, and this is what's in it. First, I have this beautiful blanket that Nick's aunt actually made for the baby. And it's a beautiful color, and this is basically for the car seat on the way home um, to make sure baby's warm because this baby will be born in January or February. Hopefully January. But let's see. What else do I have? Um, woo! Whoops, I have this owl thing. It actually, um, I can never figure out how to turn it on but it vibrates um kind of like replicates I guess a feeling of being in the womb so this can just comfort him if he needs it another thing that I'm bringing that I think is really important and I don't think a lot of people bring this is this is a file like a, an accordion file for all the papers in the hospital because I'm so uh, I'm like the messiest organized person you've ever met and I know that this will help me so much so that I don't lose any of the paperwork um, so I have that, I have the baby book, and this is super cute, this is from, I don't know what this is from, or what brand this is, but my sister got this for me, and it's just literally the cutest baby book for, um, I think the first year, so I'll be using that, and the last things I have in here are, um, I have some playing cards and stuff, like random things that Nick and I will pass time by. Uh, but I have this little bag full of baby clothes, and it's in a Ziploc bag because I don't want them to get all dirty if the dogs like accidentally get into the bag. But um, anyways, the first day, our first outfit that my lovely little boy will be wearing will be one of two things depending on his size. So if he's super, super small, which really is not small, this new size newborn, but he'll be wearing this cute little dinosaur thing. I was a little dinosaur on the butt. I just love it. I just can't even believe that something like this size is in my body right now. I just, I'm so excited. I'm so blessed to even like be able to have a baby. I'm so excited. Um, I just can't wait to meet him. And I have two pairs of mittens. I have a gray pair and I have a navy pair so that this little cutie doesn't scratch the face. I have one pair of socks, um, some fuzzy socks. They're so soft, they're like so tiny. The socks get me every time. In my baby shower, when I would open socks, I just wanted to cry. So I'm like, oh, I cannot please. My feet are so tiny. I have one beanie. Um, I need more beanies. Um, I know the hospital gives you like one beanie, I think, or something like that. And then if the baby's a little bit bigger, this is still zero to three months, but um, it's a little larger. It's Burt's Bees, because you know I love Burt's Bees. It's organic. Um, this onesie, it's long sleeve, which is what I like, because it will be cold. And these Burt's Bees little pants with feet. So this could be the second outfit, or, well, first outfit if it fits. And that is all for what is in my hospital bag and what is in my baby's hospital bag. Feel free to subscribe, thumbs up if you like the video. Um, don't thumbs down because, ugh, just kidding, do whatever you want, but subscribe, I'll have more videos up, if you have any questions, comment below, because I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching. Now I gotta put all this stuff away. But, ba ba boop ba. There we go. See you next time. Oof, I'm barely get up. Mama problems. Pregnancy problems, not mom yet, I guess.